What's up guys, today I'm going to go through and show you how I created this YouTube Shorts using some of the styles that Ali Abdul uses and I've even included a free paper tear asset that you can download and I'll show you how to use that in a second. So the first effect that I'm going to focus on is this paper tear effect which splits the screen and then slides down to reveal the title. So here I have my raw video clip and the first thing I'm going to do is go over to my effects tab over here and I'm going to go down to mask and keying and I'm going to use the scene removal mask to get rid of the background on this. So I'm just going to drag that onto my video clip and it's going to get rid of the background as long as you have a clean frame at the beginning or end of your video clip. I've made another video where I showed more in detail of how to use this effect. So I'll leave that linked in the description. There is a way to clean up the mask around the subject, but I'll show that a bit later on. If you have the effects expansion pack that I released, a great way to clean up the mask is to use the matte magic effect. So I'm just going to add the matte magic effect onto this. And if we go up to the effects, we have the matte magic here and I can just turn up the shrink, which will shrink the mask and clean up the mask around the hair here. So now what I'm going to do is copy and paste this video clip. So hold down option and click and drag the video clip up. And then on this bottom layer, I'm just going to go over to the effects. I'm just going to untick it and also untick the matte magic effect. And then I'm going to bring in my paper tear asset. I'll leave these paper rip assets in the description as a free download if you want to use them. There's two, there's one with a plain rip. And then there's also one with this paper border here. And I like this paper border one, so I'm just going to drag that into my timeline. And I'm gonna bring that in between my two layers. And then I'm gonna go up to the blend mode and I'm gonna select the silhouette luma. And then if we go to the position on this and just use the Y position, we can choose where we want to split the video clip. And if you go down too far, then you will have to crop the bottom layer. For this, we only need the top of the video clip. So around about there, if we play this back, the paper tear rips on and then rips off. So if you wanted to extend the length of this paper tear, then just go to the middle of the clip, hold down shift and press H, and that will create a hold frame. And then you can just extend this to however long you want the paper rip to continue on for. So I'm just going to extend that to the end of my video clip for now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste my original video clip at the bottom and then just press V to disable it just so we have the original video clip on the timeline if we want to use it. And then I'm going to select my top three layers, right click and go to new compound clip, click OK. And then I'm going to animate this so that it slides down the screen. So I'm going to go to the point where the paper tear is fully come across the screen. And then I'm going to go up to my transform, click on the keyframe button here, and then move forward a few frames and just drag the Y axis down. And then if I right click on my video clip, go to show video animation, it will show the keyframes here. And then you, we can move them to change the timing of the slide. So that's the first part complete. We've got the paper tear and the slide down. The next part I'm going to focus on is creating this animated sort of paper tear texture background. For that, what I'm going to do is go over to my titles and generators on the left here and go to generators. And over here, we have a bunch of backgrounds that we can use. I'm going to go down to the textures and I'm going to drag in the stars underneath my video clip. And then I'm also going to drag in this paper texture. And if we go up to the kind of generator parameters up here, there's actually more paper textures in this pack. And then I'm just going to change the tint color to black. And then I'm also going to change the blend mode to add and go to the color board and just turn down the exposure on this. And then I'm also going to add another one. I'm going to use watercolor two and then also change the tint to black. Flip this one around. And then I'm going to add some sort of movement effect to it. I'm going to go down to this animations effects plugin and I'm going to use the stop motion effect on these and I'm just going to change the settings so that they all move slightly differently. So now we have just this like kind of jittery background and I'm just going to select these, bring up the scale slightly because they were coming off, off of the screen. And then I'm going to make sure they extend all the way to the end of the video clip. 
And then what I can do is select them and right click and go to new compound clip. So now that we have the background made, we can add in a title here. And I'm just going to use one of the titles in Final Cut Pro. So let's go for this one. And for the title, you want to bring that underneath your video clip and in between the background layer. And then we can just bring that up into position and edit it. To help with titles, you can go up to the view and go to overlays, show title action safe zones. That will just help with lining up the title, making sure it's center. Once the title leaves the screen, I'm going to animate the video clip to also leave the screen. So I'm going to go to the point where I want where the title fades off, select the video clip, go to the transform position keyframe again, and then move along the timeline and then just change the position keyframe so that the video clip slides off the screen like that. So now we have this transition to the next frame. And for this one, I'm going to animate some logos onto the screen. And the way I like to do this is to add all of the assets onto the screen first and then animate them after. So what I'm going to do is add on my titles and add on my images ready to animate. So for the images, I'm just going to drag in these PNG images that I downloaded from the internet. And PNG images are really good to use because they don't have a background. So I'm going to drag these on and then use the, use the transform tool to scale them and move them into position. So now that I have my frame all where I want it to be, now I can animate it onto the screen. So I could just keyframe these and move them on by using the transform tool, adding keyframes, and then moving back to the beginning, moving it off the screen, maybe giving it a rotation, and then it comes on like that. You could do it that way and create some unique movements if you wanted to take more time on it. What I'm going to do is just use an effect plugin on this. Go to my effects tab and go to the animations effects pack. I'll leave this effects pack linked in the description. It basically just animates objects onto the screen. You could use it for titles and image files, even videos. If I just drag this onto my video clip and play this back, you see the title comes on in a dog flap sort of style. And then I want to animate these in order. So I'm going to, I'm just going to move it forward and just offset it slightly. And for image files, before you add the animation effect, it's always best to just right click and go to new compound clip just so it doesn't cut the, cut the image. And then I'm just going to drag on an animation. Now we have this nice pop on effect. So now we have the titles and images animating onto the screen. So if we go down on this animations pack and go down to constant animations, we also have the stop motion one that I used earlier, but we have also some other animations, which you can just add on to give these titles and images more movement. So I'm just going to add the stop motion onto all of these, keeping with that sort of stop motion theme. So now they all kind of jitter about. Now what I can do is select them all and right click, go to new compound clip. So now they're all just nice and tidy in a, a compound clip. So after all of this, to transition back to my normal video clip, what I'm going to do is re-enable the original video clip at the bottom of the timeline. And then I'm going to press B on my keyboard, split the background and delete that. And then as these logos, as these logos come off of the screen, I'm going to add a transition to the background so that we can transition back to the original video clip. So I'm gonna go over to my effects tab and I'm just going to add on one of these cool paper tear transitions. I'll leave these transitions linked in the description if you want to go check them out. So I'll double click to add that to my background. And now if I play this back, we have the paper tear back to the original video clip. And yeah, that's pretty much all I'm gonna get into in this video as I think it's already quite long. If you liked it and want a part two, then give the video a like and I'll do a part two and go through more effects hope you guys enjoyed this video subscribe if you liked it and i'll see you in the next one